Hello, we're in Ever City from Greenhead College, Huddersfield. We recently flew out to Hong Kong to take part in an international business competition. And we've invited Alan Burrell, one of the judges of the final panel, up here today to talk about entrepreneurship and innovation. Hi everyone, I'm having a great day here in Huddersfield with these wonderful people. Uh, I've met many, many of these students here and I'm very impressed with this institution. It's great. But here I am sitting with the team that I met in Hong Kong. So I had to go all the way to Hong Kong <laughs> to learn about this place. And um, they, of course, were one of the winning teams and with an outstanding presentation in the Global Student Challenge contest. And I thought it would be great just to have a little word and see, A, how they're getting on. But B, first of all, ask you um, to introduce yourselves and then say, how you got involved with this contest and perhaps a little bit about what it meant to you and anything you want to say about it, you know, because uh, you experienced it and you were one of the outstanding teams there, so please. So. so I start? Right, I'm, um, I'm James Clare. Um, I led the team out in Hong Kong and we sort of got involved. It was a bit indirect, really. What happened was um, Mark, who's the head of business now at Greenhead, selected a few students that he thought had had the capability to present after doing sort of a small challenge within the college. And we were lucky enough to be selected shortlisted down to about six or seven. Um, did a little mini challenge within college and then got shortlisted to be the ones that had have a go at the competition. And it's been it's been great. The whole experience from the, like day one doing the little challenge, it's been really good. Yeah, I thought it was just the competition were a great opportunity to see uh, that part of the world, I've never seen that culture and Hong Kong, it was a really amazing place and then as for the competition, it, I think it developed all of our skills in terms of like developing a business plan and financial plans and it just really increased our understanding of, of business really. Yeah. Um, my name's Lauren um, and yeah I kind of agree with everything these two have said, um, especially for me with the business course I do within college the business plan development's been the most beneficial because that's actually something I do as part of my coursework this year. So that would really help me. So why don't you say a little bit about the idea because believe me, uh, the business plan is a very interesting business plan and the idea is highly innovative and uh, very much related to what we hope will be a sustainable world. So say a little bit more about that. Well, the whole basis of the <coughs> business model revolves around um, being an eco-friendly taxi sharing service. Um, but we wanted to take it a little step further and we used a lot of technology within our business plan, um, ranging from iPhone applications to location-based services. So the idea is that people can share taxis um, along the route by booking it quickly on their iPhone or all the other booking platforms we mentioned in our presentation. Um, but the whole idea of reducing carbon emissions because people were wasting journeys and paying full fares when they didn't really need to and there's other people going. Yeah. Like the main USP is basically you can share a taxi to save money and that's the USP of that. Yeah. But you use technology along the way to do that. I think it also gave people the opportunity to uh, travel in a way which harms the environment a lot less than it would if they use conventional yeah. taxis really. Uh, and um, the software that will be developed is very, very detailed in its content and what it can do, isn't it? Can you say a little bit more about that? Yeah, well, we sort of we looked at it and thought, well, yeah, this is a great method, but people aren't wanting to do it. They're not going to plan ahead and book mm. to share taxis. So to roll it out across the board to all these different devices and make everyone be able to use it. So we've got fully automated telephone lines, online websites where you can book, and then every single um, mobile device platform on a smartphone is what we're going to hopefully roll it out to. What um, do you think it was that marked you out and you saw all the other presentations in the final and they were very competitive presentations. These people were all very good. And I want to make the point that I thought some of the college presentations were better than the university ones. <laughs> um, but they were all very, very good. So it was a very high standard. But, but what do you think it was on reflection that caused you to get the votes? I think our presentation, yeah. really. It was the presentation that did it. Yeah. The look of the presentation and the way we presented it. We spent so much time practicing the presentation of it and the style to get across 
succinctly <laughs> what we were trying to say. So I think that was what did it for us. We and had you? we had most areas covered as well. Yeah. I think anything that you tried to throw at us as a question, yeah. we sort of knew because we understood the business. So it's mm. because we'd created it completely. Yeah, so we knew where it wanted to go, so we sort of had every base covered of what you could question it on. The presentation did come across very very well. Now while you were out there, did you get some? extra coaching on the presentation? We did, yeah. did, we we did a little before. bit. Not we had training from Nicholas yeah. Bate, who's yeah. um, presentation coach over here. He came and right. in and spent an afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, he gave us some tips on how to be more confident, basically, yeah. and yeah. to look better when we're presenting. Yeah. But out there, we actually didn't have... We did some practice, obviously, before the competitions, but we didn't have any specific um, training. Has it? I think he gave us quite a few tips to how to involve the audience a lot more. Yeah. So with a presentation, we tried to make it a bit more interesting and keep people attentive to it. I have to say, it was wonderful for me, sitting in the audience, to suddenly hear these Yorkshire accents come through. <laughs> you know, I thought, gosh, here we are, Yorkshire in Hong Kong. This is wonderful, absolutely wonderful, as a member of the Yorkshire Society. So if you, if you wanted to offer a message to other students that will be listening to us because this is going to be broadcast into the NACU, National Association of College and University Entrepreneurs website and elsewhere. Would you have any, having been to Hong Kong, would you have any word of advice to the entrepreneurial leaders of the future that may be watching this? I'd say spot opportunities early. It was a fantastic opportunity for us to get this competition and go into it. And the people we met and the things we did out in Hong Kong just yeah. opens your eyes to everything. And maybe cover all your angles of what you could be approached on. Because there's always something there to trip you up along the way. It might seem great, but then you don't want something to make you stumble. So just do the preparation beforehand. And then Anything you'll know else? Where to Put in a lot of hard work. We did Put in a lot of hard we work. We spend a, like, even there were times where when, when we spent um, time thinking of the idea, it didn't seem like they're an idea on the horizon for us to think of one which would stand out but you know it just kind of developed once we did find it from all the hours we put in really which was good well well done all of you and just one final question for you what's next in your life where are you going from here well, we're all, th we're all thinking about going to university when we finish this. Um, but I'm doing a different course. I'm doing enterprise development, or I'm looking to do that. So it's a bit you're not just stuck in a classroom. You're actually getting out, having a go, doing the business world. Um, I already run a business at the minute. Um, we do web design and things like that. And that's, that's pushing on. So whether we go down that route or whether we go down education is still, still active. But it's an everyday situation. You've just got to deal with it. And, and are you going to be staying in touch? You're going to different oh, universities, yeah, but you're going to stay in touch. So the team will stay together. <laughs> it will, the team yeah. will stay together. It did bring us together, didn't it, the yeah. competition? Because we spent so much time together. Because mm. it's weird to think that only like a year ago we didn't know each other at all. Yeah. Well, you yeah. two did. Well, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, we had a new team, so Good. can't get rid of them now. <laughs> well, you know, um, just to wind it up, one of the universities I work with outside the UK is Laurea University of Applied Sciences in Helsinki, where the mantra and the pedagogy is all about learning by developing. And those of you that have listened to this uh, video commentary, I'm sure will understand why I am so keen on uh, encouraging the learning by developing movement, because you've learned a lot by yeah, developing. You know, this is practice and theory hand in hand, and I think it's a wonderful story. So I'd like to thank you all very much. Thank you, Greenhead, for having me today, and the best of fortune for the future. Thanks for coming Thanks. on.